Remember, a portion of all proceeds of all sales go to help out the local uh, musicians and hopefully put together some great shows to celebrate the launch of the website. And as a thank you for all your support, these locally sourced shirts will be 50% off for the entire month of October, so you can deck yourself out in style. I hope you'll go to room6.shop today and pick up some great merchandise. In the meantime, remember to be amazing, and let's party! Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today I'm reviewing Hindsight, the new full-length album from Joey Hines, a longtime friend of uh, the channel, and you can see more from him right here. Joey's songwriting is a wonderful blend of tongue-in-cheek lyrics with just the right amount of instrumentation with help from multiple local artists, including Mandolin, Chris Dunn, and Russell Christian, who is another member of the Room 6 alumni. Joey put together a unique and well-thought-out collection of songs that represents him and his songwriting perfectly. At the time of recording, the album comes out today. So, make sure you click the link below to get your copy. Watch the video first! The first song, After All This Time, starts the album off strong with a nice bohemian feel before launching into a strong backbeat and catchy riff. Joey wastes no time and jumps right into the lyrics, such as, When you said you were through with Howlin' at the Moon, I knew it wasn't true. Unlike some of his previous work, this song is less comedy and more serious groove that reminds me a little of Bare Naked Ladies and Tom Petty. It's a great start and promises good things from this album. Song number two is Not Saying Sorry, a return to form of Joey's classic twist on the serious issue of a relationship ending. Jumping right into another great groove, this tune is so upbeat that it took me a minute to focus on the lyrics, such as, but it didn't work out that way, we drifted onto different paths. Can't you see that to stay with me would be holding yourself back? It's a sweet acknowledgement of the end of something pretty good. The third track is Are You Serious? Showcasing Joey's almost spoken word style of singing with a great funky groove. This tune makes great use of the quiet moments between chords to tell its story. The album's first proper guitar solo helps it stand out from the pack, and I even heard a great use of the vibra slap. Chinese Food and Buffy the Vampire Slayer brings back the tongue-in-cheek Joey Hines you may be familiar with and uh, introduces us to a new voice on the album, provided by Manda Lin. Her voice makes the lyrics even more poignant and ridiculous at the same time. With lyrics that remember the TV date nights of Takeout and Vampire Killing, this tune recalls a routine that many of us can relate to. A personal favorite of mine Hindsight is the fifth track on the album. This is Joey at his most exposed and vulnerable, with just a piano and lyrics like, Hindsight is my eyesight, and it's no better than being blind. And, now I pour over every line, and I push them into piles on the ground. Song number six is, I Was Just a Boy, which fades into a tune that bounces between an infectious groove and open-ended chords that create a dynamic environment. Reminiscent of Love and Rockets, this tale down memory lane recalls a much younger Joey Hines and a young lady who ended up going a completely different path. As Joey puts it, when the time came to be a man, I was just a boy. The song used in the album's trailer video on YouTube, link is down below, Absolution introduces more voices to the mix thanks to Russell Christian, who's also been on this channel. A great song to sing along to, this track evokes an almost spiritual feeling that is a nice departure from the rest of the album's tracks. Bringing back the electric guitar, Never Loved a Woman starts out with this line. 
14 years old is too old to have your heart ripped out because you'll always remember it. Not gonna lie, he's right. This song reminded me of more Bare Naked Ladies with Joey's unique singing style keeping it totally Heinz. With a great piano walking line providing a solid background, When You Were On The Way tells a story of looking back at oneself and realizing that who you are now is a result of what you went through then. This is the shortest track on the album, but there's a nice little outtake at the end of the song that you're just going to have to listen for that sums it up perfectly. I won't spoil it, but you should definitely, definitely listen to the whole track. Warning! This next song title uses a swear word, and I'm going to say it. The tenth track on the album is Still Fucking Up. Keeping with the theme of his t-shirt, available by clicking the link in the description, Joey just had to slip at least one F-bomb into this album's track list. Thanks for that, Joey. A sparse, peppy little tune? This is Joey Hines saying, You dodged a bullet when you never looked back. A self-deprecating look at his relationship prowess. This song reminds us that he's just a dork. Yeah, I said it. Breaking the instrumentation mold from the rest of this album, the 11th track, Last Minute, reminded me a little of early Peter Gabriel's music mixed with David Bowie's lyrical style. Unlike a lot of this album, this tune is a conversation with a significant other that hasn't left him. It's a cute love letter to someone named Riley about the end of the world. The last track on the album is the interestingly named Meow. Finishing off this musical journey with just Joey and a guitar, we hear Mr. Hines' reminiscing about the past and his reluctance to let mundane life interrupt it. Just to remind us who he is, the lyrics move from wistful and sweet to silly to deep, which perfectly sums up who Joey Hines is and his songwriting style. Though the instrumentation is sparse, it holds its own against the rest of the album and can stand alone as well. A great tune to finish a great album. Good job, Joey. With strong production values and a tight sound, Hines' sight is quintessential Joey Hines, and I, for one, am impressed with what quarantine has done to him. Click the link below to get your copy today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you'll click the link down below to get your copy of Heinz Sight by Joey Heinz. I enjoyed the heck out of it, and I plan on putting it on my daily roster of music. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click up here. If you want to subscribe to the channel, click down there, and don't forget to ring the bell. I'm also on TikTok at, at Room6LV. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room6. Oh, and happy holidays.